Hi folks, uh, we're going to do a few more homework problems. Chapter 17, this is number 16 through 18, and this is going to involve some standing waves in both st strings and pipes. Number 16, a guitar string is 0 0.860 meters long and stretched between two points where the string is tied down. What is the wavelength of the second overtone for this guitar string? Okay, so it is important that you know how this works uh, for a string. The fundamental is one half wavelength. The first overtone is two half wavelengths. And then the second overtone is three half wavelengths. So one, two, three. Oh boy, that's kind of ugly. I tried to make them all the same size and it didn't work. So the second overtone, so this is your fundamental first overtone, second overtone is three half wavelengths. So three half wavelengths equals 0 0.86 meters. So I want to know what is the wavelength. So three half wavelengths equals 0 0.86 meters. And so the wavelength is going to be, we're going to take uh, 0 0.86 meters to put the 2, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, and to get rid of the 3, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So the wavelength is going to be, I'm going to grab my calculator here, 0 0.860 times 2 divided by 3, point uh, five, seven, three, the units are meters. So that's the wavelength of the second overtone. All right, next question is, what is the wavelength of the third overtone? All right, the third overtone, now for a string, it is going to go up by whole intervals of half wavelength. So this is going to be four half wavelengths. So divide this up into one, two, three, four bits. And so for the third overtone, the four half wavelengths is going to be equal to 0 0.860 meters as the length of the pipe. I want to solve for wavelength. So to do that, multiply both sides by 2, divide both sides by 4, and so wavelength will be 0.86 times 2 divided by 4, and I get a wavelength of 0 0.430 meters is the wavelength of the third overtone on 217. Problem 17 says this, a string is fixed at both ends and has a length of 2.5 meters. So I've got a string it is 2.5 meters long and is fixed on both ends. When the string vibrates at a frequency of 85.0 hertz, a standing wave with five loops is formed. So five loops. So indicating that I've got one, two, three, four, five half wavelengths here. So I have five half wavelengths are going to be equal to 2.5 meters in length. What is the wavelength of the waves that are traveling on this string? Same thing we did in the last problem. So I'm going to solve for wavelength, multiply both sides by 2, divide both sides by 5. So my wavelength is going to be uh, 2.5 times 2 divided by 5 and I end up with one meter is going to be the wavelength. So that's part A. Part B says, uh, what is the speed of the wave on this string? So in order to calculate velocity of the wave, um, that's going to be my question mark. Well, we know velocity is frequency times wavelength. Um, it vibrates at a frequency of 87 hertz. So 87, I'm sorry, I said 87, but it says 85. I misspoke myself. 87 hertz, wavelength 1 meter. So the velocity is going to be 85 meters 
per second. Where do the units come from? A hertz, as you know, is one per second multiplied by meters. We end up with meters per second, and that is part B. Part C, what is the fundamental frequency of the string? So to find the fundamental, um, the frequency of the fundamental, let's go back to our original string. If we have a string and it's 2.5 meters long, when it is vibrating in its fundamental mode of vibration, the fundamental mode of vibration is one half wavelength with a node at both ends. So this is going to be equal to one half wavelength. So to calculate that, um, wavelength is going to be equal to 2 times 2.5 meters. So the wavelength of my fundamental is going to be 5 meters. And is that exactly what they were asking for? Or am I done? Let's go back up here. What's the frequency of the fundamental? Nope, that's not it. That is the wavelength of the fundamental. To find the frequency of the fundamental, we've got to go back to our equation. Velocity is frequency times wavelength. So frequency is going to be equal to velocity divided by wavelength. Uh, the velocity in this string we found up here was 85 meters per second. The wavelength of the fundamental is 5 meters. So 85 divided by 5. Uh, I can, I'm not trying that in my head. Divided by 5, I get 17 meters cancel. I end up with 1 over seconds, and a per second is a hertz. 17 hertz is the frequency of the fundamental mode of vibration. Number 18. Number 18 says this, the windpipe of a typical whooping crane is about 5 feet long. What is the lowest resonant frequency of this pipe, assuming it is closed at one end on a day when the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius? Okay, here's what's going on. Um, first off, you and I both know if you're given the air temperature and it's not 20 degrees Celsius, you're going to have to find the velocity of sound in air on that day. And that equation is 331 meters per second times the square root of the temperature in Celsius plus 273 to make it Kelvin divided by 273. So we're going to take 331 meters per second times the square root of 37 plus 273 divided by 273. And when I do the math on that, what do I get? Well, let's see, 31 plus 273, add first, then divide, then take the square root, so second on my calculator, second square root of my answer times 331, and I ended up with a goofy number. Um, I actually ended up with 353 meters per second is the velocity of sound. It's warmer, so the speed's going to go up due to the higher kinetic energy of the molecules. So that makes sense. Now, this is a closed pipe, and we're looking for the lowest resonant frequency. Lowest resonant frequency means the fundamental. So for a closed pipe, the lowest fun resonant frequency, or the fundamental, is one quarter wavelength. We have a node at one end, it's open on the other end, so the length of the pipe is going to be equal to one quarter wavelength. The length of this whooping crane's throat is 5 feet long, so 5 feet is going to be equal to 1 quarter the wavelength of the sound, so the sound is going to be 4 times 5 feet or 20 feet long, that is a long wavelength, um, which means a very low, low sound. And we want to know what is the um, frequency, not the wavelength, this is going to give me the wavelength, I want to know frequency. Well you know velocity is frequency times wavelength. Um, in order to find frequency, it's going to be velocity divided by wavelength. So my velocity is up here, 353 meters per second. Wavelength is 20 feet. 
we can't use feet. We can't mix metric and English, so we're going to have to do some converting. Um, I'm going to just kind of slide down here and do it down in a corner. 20 feet. Got to get rid of feet. Go to meters. There's 0. Oh, how many feet in a meter? I got to stop and look this up. It's point three oh five meters in a foot. And so when I do this, let's see, 20 times 0 0.305, I get 6.1 meters is my fundamental wave length. So velocity is 353 meters per second. Wavelength 6.1 meters. When I divide 353 divided by 6.1, I ended up with a frequency of 57.8688. Round that off to three sig figs, 57.9. And what units should be on this? Well, meters over seconds divided by meters, invert and multiply, times 1 over meters. Those are going to cancel. 1 over seconds is a hertz. And it should be hertz. I must have done something right. And that's going to be the frequency exerted by my little hooping crane. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.